So today we're going to do the second part of our lesson uh, from 11.3, which is all about arc length, meaning the length of arcs of a circle. And an arc, as you know, is one part of the circumference, and that's really the entire lesson. But let's do a little review first. So sector area, let's say we have a circle, and here's a piece of pizza, which we want to find the area of, and that's what we call a sector. And you'll remember later in the lesson yesterday, we found the area of this part right here, which was called a segment. And this is simply some fraction. The area is equal to some fraction, which we're going to say some degree out of 360, times the area of a circle. So that's area of a sector. Well, today's lesson is equally interesting because it's arc length. So what do we call the measurement all the way around the circle? And if you said circumference just now, you're correct. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say we want to measure this distance right here. We don't want to go all the way around the circle. We just want this part right here. And we're still going to have the measure of the central angle. But as you can see, it's going to be some fraction of the whole way around the circle. So it's going to be some fraction of the measurement all the way around the circle. And as we just said, the measurement all the way around the circle is circumference, 2 pi r. So that's the magic formula today. Last time the magic formula was a fraction of the area, and today the magic formula is some fraction of, um, of the circumference. So let's go take what the book says here. In the same way that the area of a sector is a fraction of the area of a circle, the length of an arc is a fraction of the circumference, pretty much what I just said. So the arc length is the distance along an arc measured in linear units. All right, so as we said, it's some fraction of the circumference. That's as easy as it gets. All right, so we have this arc right here, which we know is 134 degrees, which means that right there, the central angle, is also 134. So the arc length, EF is actually going to be some fraction of the entire circumference. And now we substitute in. Our central angle here is 134 all over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius, which in this case the radius is 8. Since that's 8 there, that one's 8 and that one's 8. They're all 8. All radii are the same there in the same circle. And let's just go ahead and multiply this out. So we've got um, 8 times 2 is 16 times 134 divided by 360. Probably going to be some decimal, yeah, but let's make it a pretty fraction by pressing math 1 enter. And it's the pretty fraction, which is 268 all over 45 pi. And they want an answer in terms of pi and an answer rounded to the nearest hundred. So we take that and we multiply times pi. And there's our pretty answer, 18.71. And our units on both of these are going to be centimeters. You'll notice it's not square centimeters because it's the length of something as if we measured it with a ruler. So there are my two answers. And that's the length from E to F along that arc, 18.71 centimeters. Let's go do another problem. You can see here, this time our central angle is 40 and our radius is 6. So it's going to be GH is equal to some fraction of the whole circumference for arc length. And that fraction is 40 over 360 times 2 pi and the radius is 6. Uh, these numbers are much prettier. Let's go ahead and reduce these times 12 pi. 
9, uh, so that's going to be divided by 3, and we're going to get 4 thirds pi. And round your answer in terms of pi in the nearest hundred. So 4 divided by 3 equals, and multiply times pi, and there it is. 3 point, ooh, interesting, that is pi. So, um, to the nearest hundred, 3.14. And meters. So that's how we do these problems. So here's the final problem of the day. Go ahead and find out its answer and record the answer as part of the Google Docs form that you have at the end of this video. All right, thanks so much.